John 6, 2. Ekeluthē de auto achlas palus, hati ethe orun ta semea ha epoye epiton asthenunton. We read, and a great crowd, a large crowd, was following him, that is, following Jesus, because they were seeing the signs which he was doing upon the sick people. It's interesting in this verse that we have these three imperfect verbs, right? Because if you've studied Greek narrative or the historical narrative in the New Testament, you know that the aorist tense is the default tense for historical narrative. This happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. And why do we have these imperfects here? Well, three reasons that, you know, people give, I think. One is there's a a markedness or an emphasis that's that's being drawn to the front of the stage by switching to the imperfect. I, I personally don't find that very convincing. Another explanation is that th- this is intended to be painted progressively or habitually. You, one can see that perhaps as you know this characterized Jesus' ministry, and that may overlap a little bit with this number three. I think number three is the most uh, is the most convincing explanation that there's a discourse function here. It's it's a way of segmenting or chunking up the text, as Steve Rangi says, and uh, this is a way of stepping aside and giving some background information that's going to be important for uh, the next scene in the narrative. Right? We need to understand how did they end up out in the middle of nowhere with all these crowds that are starving that Jesus is going to feed now. Well, that's because huge crowds followed him and because they saw the signs he was doing, right? This gives sort of a stepping aside from the narrative and giving um, some significant background information for what's going to develop next. Let's let's just, uh, all of these are imperfects, right? We don't really have time to parse them all. There's a third singular imperfect, a third singular imperfect, a third plural imperfect, and I'm wondering if this third singular form is throwing you off. So let's look at one of those, right? That is from the lexical form poieo, and the reason it may be causing you consternation is that contract vowel there, right? And so remember what happens with the, the, the contract vowels is those combine. Remember the imperfect third singular ending is this, but with contract verbs, you never have that movable new. You just have the epsilon. So those combine to be A, and then you have your augment on the beginning there. That's how we end up with the augment and how we end up with that A ending. That's just an imperfect, active indicative, third person singular. He was doing. Where Here, the crowd was following. Here, the, the people, they were seeing. 